What's up, guys? DJ Soul Force. I've uh, been out here doing some flying. I waited for sunset so I could take my uh, Phantom 3 Professional up. And lo and behold, she won't go, she won't get off the ground because uh, uh, there's a little tiny airport not far from here that recently popped up on the map as being listed as a restricted airspace. <laughs> It may be closer than five miles to here, but uh, they don't even fly after the sun goes down. And uh, my Phantom won't fly. It's uh, asking for authorization, and I can't. I can't click on anything because I'm not connected to the internet. So what I'm gonna do? Take out my little book bag, baby. <laughs> She wasn't in a book bag, but she's small enough to get in that book bag. And I'm going to flip it up to GPS mode and unlock the motors. Let's take her up. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's start the video. It's a short press on the exit or the enter button to start the video. So we are recording. Let's take her out. Remember the uh, Hubson has full GPS features, but I had her up in uh, under two minutes. I've been messing around with that Phantom for 10 minutes and still haven't gotten up yet. <laughs> now this bird has GPS, but it, I'm not sure if it knows where the uh, no-fly zones are. Well, apparently not, because it just took off. <laughs> just took off from a spot where my phantom wouldn't go up so direction of the sunset. Take it up. Some altitude. There she goes with our side to side wobble thing. Picture though. Saw that when I put my hand, that's how directional these antennas are. And some people don't believe it that a tree. Uh, that's not affecting my GPS signal, but that's my FPV signal. Block that antenna for just a quick second. And my FPV started getting salty on me. <laughs> Let's push it forward a little bit. She's 
climbing. There's all the telemetry. <laughs> this hat cam ain't gonna see that. It's just a dot in the sky. She's at 110 meters. And she's still climbing. 120, 121. She's gone over. I'm at 131 meters and still climbing. I will hold right there, guys, and bring her down slowly before the uh, drone police come and get me. Since the Phantom app already told me we were in a no-fly zone, that's going to be some nice onboard footage, guys. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I had several girls with me. The Topstow Egan, it's a GPS bird. It cranked up and uh, was ready to fly in two minutes or less. Of course, the old SEMA XHC, just turn it on, it's ready to fly. Don't need permission. <laughs> and just when the light was perfect, I wanted to fly my Phantom and she wouldn't take off. Okay, let's bring the little beauty down. <laughs> She's sweet though. I, I like this bird already. I almost said I love you, but you can't say that to a girl you just met. <laughs> I love you. What I'm gonna do is uh, take my love out of GPS more mode and uh, fly it around. Okay, out of GPS mode, she still has altitude hold. She's drifting just a little bit, but she's holding her altitude, and I expect that from a bird of this caliber. But uh, I want to see if I can get more speed out of it, or a little more thrill. Yeah, she's got that pitch angle. Oh, yeah. And don't forget, guys, there's also settings in the, uh, in the menu to make this bird totally manual, where uh, you can even turn off the GPS mode. You have to pull back on a stick to stop it. What I did was just simply let the stick go. And she did that Tokyo drift thing on me right under that pavilion. And up under the pavilion, hit the ceiling, bounce back down on the concrete. I'm gonna put her back in GPS mode. Wow, now she stopped on a dime. <laughs> she stopped on a dime as soon as I hit the GPS button. That's full throttle, or full right stick ahead, guys, in GPS mode. <laughs> that is slow. But that's understandable since it does have a 1080p camera built in with uh, no stabilization. Uh, I guess that's Hubson's attempt to uh, make sure you get some decent video. <laughs> So, at full, full right stick ahead, she makes sure, <laughs> she's going to make sure we're not shooting too much video of the ground. <laughs> this is my first Hubson. And uh, apparently I've been missing out on a little fun here, guys. <laughs> You know I can't wait to get it in uh, full manual mode. Okay, again, this is in GPS hold. She's hovering right now. And I'm going to give it a full right stick forward. Let's go. <laughs> oh, wow. Did you see that? She, she even slowed herself down. So apparently the pitch angle... The pitch angle plays a part in that. So to stay level, she can't pitch. You can't pitch that deep. She did it again. Definite camera bird. It's like she has to slow down uh, because in GPS mode, the quad won't allow, won't let you pitch it too deep. My rear LEDs are green now. They started out white. I may be in LVC. No, what I am is in GPS mode. Let's see, turn GPS mode off. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Lights change colors. Okay, that's a flight indicator. 
I'm back in GPS mode. I got some things to learn with her. I did say I'll be taking her out a lot. <laughs> and that's the purpose of it. The more you fly, the more you learn. I am still recording. I only got a four gigabyte. SD card in there so guys I'm gonna stop that video right now I'm gonna go ahead and bring her down guys uh, we're not gonna get any better video out of this it's getting dark it is fall time uh, shortly after sunset it's dark so you don't get much warning Remember, I went up to shoot the sunset. Now it's uh, it's dark. I, mosquitoes are crawling all over me, man. I kind of overshot my landing skid there, my landing pod, but uh, we made it. <laughs> there you go, guys. Another uh, quick flight and another video demo of the Hubson H501S. The advanced version with the advanced transmitter. It's your boy DJ Soul Force. We're out of here. <laughs>